guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today you're gonna be baking with Brit. I'm gonna be testing some TikTok recipes and some other healthy dessert recipes. Sometimes these healthy desserts suck. So I'm here to tell you if these suck or if they're actually good. Nobody wants to waste time baking and nobody wants to waste calories on crappy desserts. If we're gonna make some healthy blondies and they suck, nah. Give me a normal blondie, I'll enjoy that, and then I can move on with my day. Do not feel guilty over eating normal baked goods. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm starting out with mashing two bananas. I feel like the riper the bananas are, the better, right? Next up, I'm adding a cup of peanut butter. I always get the freaking natural stuff, but it's always that liquidy, you know what I mean? So, I gave that a stir. This has a whole cup of peanut butter. Let's pour this bad boy in. Here we go. We've got half and a full. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna give that a stir. Okay, next up we need a third cup of maple syrup. Honestly, at this point, I just wish I was making a normal, like a normal dessert. Like this is cool and everything, like I'm excited to try it, but like why am I wasting all these ingredients? Um, this better be good, that's all I gotta say. Like this better freaking be good. Wasted my syrup on this. Then one egg, crack this bad boy. I just want all eggshells in this. Like, actually I just wanna eat the eggshell, not even the egg. Stir this egg in. Flourless mother freakers. This better be good, that's all I gotta say. Now I need cinnamon. So a teaspoon of cinnamon, teaspoon of baking soda. So again, if I'm being honest, this is a pretty liquidy batter. I don't know how it's gonna set up. So a teaspoon of baking soda and then a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, let's mix that. Call me Baker Brittany. Okay, let's get our pan. I just broke my ankle. Okay, I've got a little glass shard. <laughs> got a glass pan, it's like an eight by eight. I'm gonna spray it with some nonstick spray because we don't want these bad boys sticking. I'm gonna say this again and probably a thousand more times. It's better not disappoint. You know when you're like baking something and you're just like, oh crap, this almost fell. Oh my gosh, it's like fumes. <coughs> oh my gosh. What is this, like an aerosol can? What is this, it's the 80s? Oh, oh, gross. There you go. If I waste my chocolate chips, so help me. I'm gonna be so honest about this, you guys. I can't help it. I have to be honest if this sucks or not. I'll measure the chocolate chips. Gotta be accurate. What is it, half a cup? Half a cup of chocolate chips in the bin. That's it. You gotta be kidding me. That just does not look like enough chocolate chips for me. If I'm gonna have something with chocolate in it, it's just gotta be worth my time. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna pour this in. It's a batter that doesn't have enough chocolate chips and is really liquidy. I guess it's like a cake, cake batter. I'm gonna be optimistic. Let me stop dogging this recipe before I've even tried it. Like, who do I think I am? Who do I think I am? I can't be dogging this recipe before I've even tried it. So. Not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of changing my mind because this actually looks pretty lit. This actually looks pretty darn legit. So, we're gonna pop this in an oven 350 for 20 minutes, and that's gonna be a taste test. I'm tasting them, Darian's tasting them, Vinny's tasting them. I'm gonna tell you if this is a bust or not, okay? In the oven, baby. Oh, it looks like she puts chocolate chips on top. Hold on. Come back out of the oven! Ah! Okay, she sprinkled more chocolate chips on top, so I'm gonna do the same. I mean, it like, looks pretty and... I don't like more chocolates. I'm so intrigued to see if this is gonna work. Here we go, we've got all the chocolate chips on it. It's looking really cute and yummy. Let's pop it in the oven now. Round two. Okay, I'm gonna wash the bowl and we're gonna make recipe two. Okay, it's time for recipe two, which is baked oatmeal. I am so excited to try this. I've heard raving reviews about baked oatmeal. I've never tried it, so let's get to it. The recipe I'm following uses a blender. This is from Caitlin Nolan. She's on TikTok, she's on Instagram. I think she's adorable. She's actually on YouTube too. I think she's adorable. I love all of the meals that she shares, so check her out. So, get a little cup, and then it's a half cup of oats. Just got my little oats here. Let's dump it in. Okay. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. So I've got a fourth teaspoon here. I'm just gonna do it twice. Whenever I do that, people are like, you added too much. It's like, homie, it's a fourth teaspoon. I don't know what I'm doing. One banana. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be good. I already love this recipe. Two 
two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I like always keep this in my pantry now because I bake so much, so I always have cocoa powder. But I think you can skip cocoa powder in this recipe if you don't have it. This must be her chocolate version. Ooh, it's gonna be chocolatey. Okay, so what is it? I have to focus. Okay, two teaspoons. This is gonna be good. Cocoa powder is normally a little bit bitter, so. Hopefully that banana pulls through so this isn't as bitter. It says a dash of cinnamon. All right, let's see. Let's see what I got here. I actually have a dash. When Darian and I got married, my aunt gave us these. It's a smidgen, a pinch, and then this one's a dash. So a dash of cinnamon, a splash of almond milk, and a sweetener. And I assume you can use any milk. That's risky. That's risky. You know, she's a lot like me though, where she doesn't completely measure everything. We just kind of go for it. I like that about her. I like you, Caitlin. I'm gonna use honey. So I'm just gonna go for it. Ta-da. Yeah, it definitely needs some sweetness. Okay, and I'm gonna put my blender together and blend this up. Okay, so I blended this up. I'm so excited to see. And then I also have this oven safe ramekin. It is a little bit deeper. This looks like what Caitlin used and it's oven safe. I made sure it was oven safe. I actually had to buy this online. I always wanna say offline, but it's online because I saw one of these at like Target and Walmart and I was like, I don't know if they're oven safe. It didn't say it. So I had to actually look online and make sure that the one I was buying was oven safe. Cause last thing I need in my life is something blowing up in my oven. So I'm gonna put nonstick spray on this and then pour in my baked oats. Oh, I'm so weak. It's like I don't even work out. Ooh, okay, let's get the, ooh. Hmm. Okay, 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 I see. 350 for 25 minutes. I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm so excited to give this a taste. I have not tried baked oatmeal yet. This is definitely like a decadent dessert to me. So I'm pumped. You could also have this for breakfast, but I actually love having oatmeal for dessert. If I'm having a sweet tooth, oatmeal is one of the ones that I love to go to because it gets me so full. Let's pop this in the oven. All right, you guys, it is time for recipe number three. I'm stoked about this one. I actually made this years ago and would make this years ago. This was like way back in the day when young Brittany just started YouTube and I was all about looking for healthier recipes, healthier alternatives. It just made me feel better. That's kind of the state of mind that I was in back then. I like to try to do like healthier alternatives or you know, I loved to bake. So I was like, oh, I'll just make healthier stuff. You know, now I'm not as like, I wouldn't even say strict, but now I just love baking so much. It's such a hobby of mine that I don't care as much to look for these really healthy desserts to eat. For this recipe, everything's going to blender too. There's some water left in that. So go ahead and get yourself a blender. We're gonna start out with a whole can of chickpeas rinsed and drained. This recipe is vegan. So if you're vegan, you know, you can always keep the little, what's this called? Goop, that is not an appetizing word. The liquid that's in here with the chickpeas, you can keep if you're vegan because you can use that in other recipes. It's actually really good. So let's get to it. I'm gonna still you, oh! Right on that edge, you guys. No, another two. Another two and they'll be perfect. So I'm draining this can of garbanzo beans. All right, here we go. We're draining the garbanzo beans. Part nine, take one million. These are some, <laughs> these are some thick daddy chickpeas, all right? Holy cow. All right, get in there, chickpeas. All right, next up, we're gonna add some peanut butter. Half a cup of peanut butter. <gasps> wow, I used a whole can. I got my little scraper. That's a whole jar of peanut butter I've used on these two recipes, it's crazy. A third cup of maple syrup again. Sugar. Candy, candy cane, candy corn, and syrup. Do we need vanilla? How much? Two teaspoons. I will be honest, vanilla makes baked goods so good. Like, got to have vanilla. Even a little bit extra. Like, oops. I accidentally doubled the vanilla in my recipe. It's never an accident. Okay, a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, a fourth of baking powder. A fourth of baking soda. So you got powder and soda in this. Two leveling agents. So that's everything. I'm gonna put the lid on and blend this and then pour it in this same eight by eight pan. This just sprayed me all over the face and that makes me very angry. Okay, I forget how thick this batter is as opposed to the last batter that I was like, this is too thin. This shoddy looks thick. 
okay? I gotta grab my chocolate chips. I also wanna know that I totally had to add milk to this. It was too thick, it almost wouldn't blend. Woohoo! Not my best day with this blender. I thought I was gonna break my blender. This thing is so thick. So I'm adding chocolate chips to the little mixture and then I'm gonna pour, oh, I almost forgot to grease it. Oh, back at it again with the aerosol can. All right, spraying nonstick and then pouring in the batter. So these are supposed to be blondies. I think this is more of the consistency of blondies because it's a little bit thicker. I will say this, it smells like peanut butter and chickpeas, okay? So if you don't like those, maybe don't try this recipe. That's what I'm getting. Spreading it out evenly on the pan. This recipe also calls for chocolate chips on top. I like to use Nestle Toll House. I like to use Ghirardelli. I like to use a bunch of different chocolate chips. Honestly, whatever works for you both. I'm gonna do like a small little handful and just sprinkle them on the top. Now I'm gonna pop it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. I wanted to film a couple other really simple recipes where maybe you don't have to do as much baking. So if you're a little bit intimidated to bake some of these, you can do these really simple, basic, quick, and easy recipes. This first one is a take on peach cobbler. You're just gonna cut up a peach, which it was peach season. I feel like we might still be able to get some good peaches. So this is definitely a healthy dessert and is so delicious. So you're just gonna cut up and slice two peaches or one one if it's just for you you can just do one so it's one serving but I was making this for Darian and myself so we did two peaches put it on a tray lined with tin foil and then season your peaches with cinnamon and honey next up melt maybe two tablespoons of butter and then pour in some oats then add a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit more cinnamon and then you're gonna mix that all together. This is really easy because you can play with the ratios. I realized, okay, I need a little bit more oats, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oats, a little bit more syrup. You can kind of play with this. It doesn't have to be exact. Then I just top it over my peaches. I did add a small sprinkle of brown sugar at the top of this. You do not have to do that. This will be even better and healthier for you if you don't add a tiny bit of brown sugar, but that's totally up to you. Roast it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 375 and then scoop it into a bowl. I feel like this is the perfect late night snack craving. It is so delicious and super easy. I ended up adding a little bit of milk because I didn't have ice cream. You can add ice cream if you want. You can have milk, have a play on peaches and cream. This was so delicious, delightful, healthy, light, but you feel really good and it also curbs your sweet tooth. So I highly recommend trying this recipe. Another really quick and easy recipe is to cut up a banana. You can make these slices as thin or thick as you want. And then you're gonna top half of them with peanut butter and then the other half is gonna be a top. So it's like a little peanut butter banana sandwich. And you're gonna go ahead and freeze this for a couple hours until it's all the way frozen. Once it's frozen, melt some chocolate chips. And then you're gonna take out your frozen banana sandwiches and dip them in the chocolate. You're gonna put them on a tin foil or parchment paper and refreeze them until they're all hard. Look at them, they're so cute. And then once they're all frozen again, you have the perfect little bite-sized chocolate peanut butter banana bite and they taste so good. out of the oven and they look pretty good. I had to cook them a couple additional minutes because they weren't all the way done when I initially pulled them out, started to slice into them. So they're definitely in there for closer to 30, 35 minutes, but I'm really excited to try them. Let's give them a taste test. You know what? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm like, wait, do I have chocolate in my teeth? It's actually thick enough and the right consistency where it actually feels decadent, where I could actually eat two of these and feel satisfied and really happy. That's kind of one of my things about like alternatives or making healthier recipes is a lot of time it's, it doesn't satisfy that craving. So then you eat more and more just hoping to get full or to satisfy that craving, which it never gets satisfied. I'm so surprised. 
I was really fully ready to rip these apart. I actually recommend this. I will leave the recipe down in the description box. You test them out and let me know how they turn out for you. Mm-hmm. It's almost like chocolate chip banana bread, but more of a brownie consistency. I would actually rate this a 7.7. .7. When it comes to rating on a healthier dessert scale, this is a nine. These are actually freaking fire. I'm, wow, wow. Okay, putting it over here for later. Okay, now we're gonna try the baked oatmeal. I am so happy that my dish did not blow up in the oven. This is still really warm. I topped it with peanut butter and cinnamon, like she said, and then I also added a little bit of milk because I wanted to. All right, here we go. Wait, what? Okay, it's really good, but the texture, what? What? what is, hold on. Um, I can't figure out the texture of baked oatmeal. It's like gummy. It tastes like it should be raw, but it's not. Like this recipe is really good. I just think I don't like baked oatmeal, actually. Wait, what? Did I make it wrong? It's like gummy. Has anyone else said this? I need to try another bite. Did I not bake it long enough? No, it's fully baked. I was just like not expecting that. It's good. It's just the texture threw me off for a loop. I was really trying to figure out for a hot second what was going on. Oh man. A little bit bummed about that one. I really wanted to kind of like dive in and enjoy that, but it just kind of missed a little bit for me. I would rate that a 6.5. Gonna give this one a bite. Not bad. Okay, watch me. gonna try some. I'm gonna try that. The first one's the best. It's okay. I say it's okay as I'm like cringing. No, I actually like those. I would rate these a 4.5. Mm. I wouldn't eat these again by my choice. They taste like what do they, they need? taste like peanut butter and chickpeas, which is exactly what they are. Too much chickpea flavor. I don't know though. We've had these before. Yeah, I know. We used to love these. I don't like them anymore though. They are a great alternative though. If you're craving, like this would do the trick. I disagree. For me, it would. For me, I would take a bite of that and say, "Wow, what a waste! I want to make a real blondie." But I kind of like. You actually think that tastes good? Okay. Well, we'll have Vinny taste it. The first recipe is actually the best. That is definitely the winner. These chickpea blondies, I used to like them. They just, I don't like them anymore. That first recipe, golden, super good. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> is that yummy? It's yummy, huh? What are they made with? Bananas, peanut butter, chocolate. And what else? Wait, That's it. how do they get fluffy? I don't know. It's the texture of a brownie, yeah. Yeah, they're really good. You guys, I, I could eat this whole plate. So could I. That is crazy. They're so good. Okay, Darian is now trying the okay, what's baked. This made out of? It's baked oatmeal, so it's oats, banana, chocolate powder, and peanut butter. That's it. That's it. Don't don't miss out on me. Mm. That's my impression too. It's a texture, huh? It's like um. It's a little bit strange, isn't it? Gelatin e. Yes. You want more, Vinny? Can you say please? Good job. It's really yummy, isn't it? Can you say thank you? Love you. All right, you guys.
guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Drop down in the comments if you try one of these out, let me know. And let me know what looks good. Which of these are you like, ooh, I wanna try? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.